seven dwarves. Sweat. Seven dwarves. Sweat. Sweating dwarves. What? What? What just happened? What just happened? My mouth just. It just gave out. Welcome back to I2I, the place where we talk about anything and everything Disney. My name is Kyle. And my name is Jessica. And before we get started today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. And if you like this channel, we have to support it by joining the Powerline, which is our channel membership program. You can find links to that in the description, but also above in the video right now. This is Disney Through Our Eyes, the somewhat weekly, <laughs> somewhat weekly podcast, audio and video, where we just sit down and we talk about what's in our minds. What's on our minds stuff. about Disney? Disney things, Star Wars, Marvel, all that good stuff. We're going to do things a little bit differently with this episode. Instead of just previewing what we're going to talk about, because we'll get into that in just a second, let's get warmed up because usually we like to talk mm. and debate and just things. I'm going I'm to throw I'm, I'm out, ready for a good debate. I'm going to throw things out to you. Just, and you go with it and we'll just take a minute just to get our, our jaws warmed up, our okay. minds warmed up, hit our me. arguing I mean, don't actually up. hit me, but. That, that would be wrong on camera to yeah. do that. Or, in or, in or, or, or general, I was general. Say, not just statement there. on camera, like that would be wrong. I'm digging a hole for myself at this point. What's the question? Oh, oh who is going to be better at digging a hole? Donald or Goofy? Goofy. Why? Because his legs are longer, his arms are longer. Donald wouldn't even be able to hold. We didn't even have arms. Like, what would he even be able to hold a shovel with? It Who would be like. Arms? It would be like T Rex. You know how his arms are so super small. No. Have you seen Donald? Yes. Donald Where has is regular Donald? arms. Listen, Where listen. Is look Donald at me. Look room. at me. Look at me right here. Look at me. Donald has arms. They don't have wings like traditional. This is a different type of duck. He's I'm just duck saying, wings. How do you not also, you, Donald is your favorite character. Where is a Donald in this room? He's somewhere in there. He's, he's, oh, okay, I got a, wait, I got a okay. shirt I wear. Look, his arms are real small. But, so, and his legs are really short. Goof, so the leverage is not going to be there to be able to bend down and lift up the, the, you know, the stuff where he's burying the bodies of his enemies. That took a really, <laughs> really dark turn. So my topic, I'm actually changing on the fly because Jessica inspired me cool. to talk about this. How, you know, I love to talk about like relevant stuff. Like when I say, not that your topics aren't relevant. That's what I heard. Newsworthy Jessica, stuff. Jessica, you suck. No, no, just, just think of it this way. You're the fun person. I'm the person who likes to talk about like the stuff that's being usually in the news right now. Right, like, right. So what just came out and just premiered for Disney? Genie. The Genie System. Which I, is I be... thought that was your topic anyway. Like, I can't believe that wasn't your topic. The topic I was going to talk about would be for another time. So you have to come back. Because uh, that yeah. was, uh, Genie was almost my topic. But then I was like, no, Kyle's going to pick that. I, 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 had a to I had a topic I've been wanting to talk about. But it can be, it's not as time relevant. This well, one, let's, let's talk, talk about Genie. Let's talk about Genie. So first of all, can we acknowledge that it's called Genie? Do you and know it like makes it? Me, no, I love it. It makes okay. me think of Robin Williams. Yes. And I love him. So you, you are a big fan of Robin I'm Williams. I'm such a big fan. I accidentally like maybe went through a list today of all his movies and <laughs> I kind of want to watch them all now. <laughs> um, I will say that I'm a Robin Williams fan, but not to the fact that I go through a list of his movies. He's, Things happened. He's a great I, actor. You know, all, you know, obviously rest in peace, all that kind of stuff. You know, just, right, right. The genie thing is perfect because it just kind of fits in the whole, like, this is your magic yeah. wish thing to the whole, whole Walt Disney World out there. Yep. And it's going to be across Disneyland and Disney World, I believe. Oh. I think so. Like, it's now, I think that's the thing why they're doing this too, not the only thing, is because you used to go to Disneyland and get something called the Max Pass, I believe it was called. And it was like, you had to pay for, I I'm probably butchering all this, but I do know that it was a little different. Now it makes it a little bit more of a cohesive thing across yes, the United States. I agree with that. And you can get like, it just, people who come visit to Disneyland from other side of the country are going to be maybe more used to that. So now it's not as different. It's more familiar. Same thing over here. There's just more cohesion within the company. Now, the concept, and I, this is, I want to see how you feel about it, the concept of paying for fast passes. Let's think about this. Fast passes, first of all, didn't used to exist. Lines right. got out of control. Their solution was paper fast passes, which used to be fun because people rushed to the fast pass line and, you know, got their little paper, little passes. I still got some I've saved. Do from, you really? Yeah, way back. They're like in my little box of things that you'll never see down here. Uh, but they had that. Concerned. They switched to 
the whole, you know, you can do it online thing yep. and you can only get a certain amount within a tier thing per day, yep. but yep. then you could rotate or they changed it to, you could get more if you went through them in a certain time, okay. you can go to a different park and all They've made adjustments is the whole point here. Now we're here. It's been a free service this entire time. Before we talk about price, your thoughts on paying for fast passes. Reminds me a lot of Six Flags. And you know, you yeah. have to pay for Flash Pass at Six Flags. So I don't want to be a naysayer because Kyle is usually that person. No, 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 but, I, but whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I've been Kyle does not like change. Yes, that is true. But I'm a Pollyanna type of naysayer. So <laughs> that's a thing. I, I believe in the Disney company. Right. And I believe that they have thought this out. I, I'm sure they have. I'm just questioning, would they have made this decision had the pandemic not happened and had they not lost all that money? I think so, because... You think this, they would have still made this? I think I think it maybe pushed it further to being, you know, a thing like me, meaning quicker. But I think this would have happened regardless. Which is it's sad all about, to me. Is it though? I mean, they're a business. Their job I, is to make money totally for get their that. shareholders and for themselves. Again, totally get that, but I feel like we've upped our prices yeah, that, every single year. Yeah, yeah. And we all expect us that go to Disney every year that are not annual pass holders, or even if you are, we all expect the prices to go up a little bit every year. Right. But it feels like we've gone up astronomically. And now you're telling me that if I don't want to waste my entire day standing in a line that forms all the way back at the castle for presidents, you know, hall presidents crap. I'm gonna need to buy this genie lamp thing. It's just you don't you buy it's on your phone. It's like on your little app that you. So have. okay, so automatically I'm already just annoyed with it, which is not unlike me. So tell me how much it is. And wait, wait, is it per day or per? Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, because remember I changed my topic at the last second. So if I'm misquoting, please you guys can correct me. Just know I'm kind of going into this a little bit blind. I believe it's fifteen dollars per day okay. per person. Okay. So, like, I think, for instance, let's say this. You, I don't know if this is how this works, but you could buy it for the Magic Kingdom. Probably worth it, right? Definitely. Epcot, you could choose not to and yeah. just wait in the lines. I would now, I would argue, in a couple of years, you might want it with Rock and Roller Coaster, Ratatouille. Rock and Roller Coaster. I'm sorry, not Rock and Roller Coaster. Basically, it is the Guardians of the Galaxy Roller Coaster. Okay, company. that's why I was like, hold up. You've got Ratatouille back there now. You've got uh, Mission Space. You've got Test Track. You've yeah, got Yeah, but Sora. not now. But when that comes, and what else is going to come that's going to be a little bit more of a line? That may be worth it eventually. So, I don't know. I just... For me right now, not seeing how it's worked yet. Hollywood Studios, it's worth it too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But it's just, it's another price gouging technique because everybody's going to buy it because they're all going to think like us and be like, well, $15 is not that bad. Right. You know, so then we're back in the exact same spot that we were in with fast passes of everybody has it. So yeah, it's still a little bit faster if you do it right. But here's the thing though. They would not be doing this if they didn't think A, it would work. And B, they or that people would do it. Exactly. We're all suckers. So we're the problem. <laughs> it's we're, that's my point. We're we're one hundred percent the problem. That's why all their food is really Expensive. high priced. Yep. Because we're all like, also well, we're starving. We're trapped there. It's kind yeah, of... exactly. What I'm not going to pack a peanut butter and jelly in my backpack, unlike my we, wonderful aunt and uncle. We know some people that do. <laughs> Other people as well. Aunts and uncles who are wonderful and save lots of money, but we are just not those people. Because well, being there. And partaking of the food is usually part of the experience for us. Like, of course, Dole Whips, you know, Mickey pretzels, uh, ice cream sandwich, bar, uh, Mickey ice cream bars, your yeah. ice cream thing, you know, corn dogs. Uh, Sci-Fi Diner. Pot, pot roast mac and cheese. Um, <laughs> Hashtag, pour one out. Why did you say that? Pour one out. But anyway, house, my point is, yeah, so we all pay high prices for that, like, where basically it's like Chick-fil-A food and I can get it for six bucks outside of the park. Whoa, 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 let's not get I'm just teasing, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. That was it, that was... You got me, you got me fired up. Anyway, I, I just feel like we're all going to pay it. So why even be upset about it? Because we're all just going to be like, yeah, this sucks, but here's my credit card. Yeah, um, obviously I don't like paying. I think, honestly, the price was a little lower than I thought it was going to be. $15, yeah. if, the, if I have it right, $15 per it's day per 50. person. I thought I thought we were going to be sitting somewhere in the range of fifty, um, because I, 
there's some places where that value is really good. Like so would money. you do it if it was if it added a hundred dollars for the two of us for every day? day? I, I'd probably it. Oh, I don't know. Uh, the places where I consider it is Hollywood Studios and, and Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. It's like two hundred dollars extra. I'd kind of consider it for Animal Kingdom. The difference is is because the marquee ride that I um, Everest the marquee ride moves pretty fast and you can get on single rider single stuff. rider that is life changing flight of passage if you just do it right get there in the morning you can probably hit it at the end of the day too if you're willing to wait long at the end of the day yeah. so you can at least get two rides out of that which to me is worth it it's a good day um you know epcot same thing you can probably hit test track or soaring you can probably now hit soaring several times in the day the way they yeah. have three so test track is really or frozen you know so if you're a kid you probably yeah, want and frozen. frozen it's just not worth the wait to me i actually like it a lot i'll be honest with you i like it it's I not like worth it. a long wait, though. I'm just I, not. I think it is because for me, it's more nostalgia because I can see I'm, when I ride through it, I'm imagining the old ride with it, you know, just with, with Frozen no. over the top of it because no. it's the same track, it's the same boat ride, all that kind of stuff. All right, so Genie, $15 per day. I'm not willing to say yet if it's worth it or not. I'd have to kind of see how it works. Yeah. Luckily, we probably will get to wait some time before we actually get to see it or, or use it ourselves. It just, I miss the days of paper fast passes and the madness of running to those lines. No, and, I, nobody misses those and days. You, you, it, grandpa. Just imagine the sheer joy of a family of five running to this little thing and your dad runs in there and gar starts grabbing the fat, the cards and puts them all in because you had to put your little key of the world card in there. And then comes out and he goes, I got it. And everybody's like, yeah, we got it. Now what are we going to do? Go wait in the line for two hours. But, you know, that's just... I'm glad you have those nostalgic feelings. I don't. It's it's something that I I, I value. Well, and something our that kids I will have genie. Genie. Well, no, they'll probably have something much different and much more expensive. Jafar. <laughs> okay, Kyle. So final week in my little series that I created in my mind. Why is it gonna be final? Because I don't want to do all the parks. I just want to do what I want to do because this is my show. Hold on. It's, yeah. And I'm not a completist. I am a... You have left Epcot out of the first part of this series that you did with what not what's worth not waiting. Then you've also left out Wait, Epcot. what's not worth the wait? Yes, but you're leaving out Epcot again because, yes, we're talking about the Magic Kingdom, the only one that she... Other right, because... So, so listen to me. Hear me out. I'm listening. Epcot doesn't have very many rides. So if I have to pick three for each option there's just not so okay so today's topic is <laughs> you were explaining something and you just said i'm done i'm done <laughs> moving on just, i think she realized that she did not have a good point i did have it. a good point i said there's not enough rides for me to be able to pick six that's not it's attractions attractions not rides so my topic my choice so my topic is what is worth an hour wait in magic kingdom all of it Every bit no. of it. Every so bit. this one was really hard for me because here's why. Magic Kingdom has a lot of rides and attractions. We yep. can agree with that. Yeah. And Kyle has perfected the art of doing things in a certain sequence and just going with the flow and wherever it's the all wind about, takes us. It's all about setting yourself up for success the rest in the of the morning. Day. If you do it right in the morning, it's done. You got it all like you've got it covered. All like 40 something attractions you can get them done. Exactly. exactly. So that's my point is we do Magic Kingdom really well because of Kyle, not because of me, because I would screw that up. But because of that, I never wait an hour for rides. Like you just manage it really well. Now, the new Disney Genie may change that. But that's, that's fair. previously with, you know, park hopping and fast pass, we were able to cheat the system a little bit. So anyway, what I would wait an hour for Let's start off with the big one. Okay. Of course, big one I'm gonna or big ones. One. Okay. I'm gonna pick Splash Mountain. That's my favorite ride at Magic Kingdom. It's my really. Yeah. I thought you hated getting wet. I, it's not my favorite. You just said it was your favorite though. Getting wet is not my favorite. Oh, getting but wet the is the ride my is my favorite, which is why I normally wear a poncho. But in the heat of summer, in July or August, it is worth it. I just don't like writing it in like December. If you ever need to find Jessica. I'm the girl in the poncho. At Disney World. She is the only one wearing a poncho when the sun is out. This, look, I, 
let me, um, to the camera, to all of you watching and listening right now, I get that I'm the most embarrassing one out of this most of the time. 90%. No, this one, I have never so, been more embarrassed of so her listen. when you were in Epcot with the blazing hot, not a cloud in the sky, Florida sun was down upon us and you were in a bright yellow poncho with Mickey plastard on it. Why? I just, I, I've, I I've already said it. why. To dry it out so it didn't mildew in our backpack. Oops. I was the only genius in the park. All these other idiots have this wet, soppy poncho just wadded up in the bottom of their backpacks with their food and their snacks and their jackets. No, mine was perfectly dry after 30 minutes of wearing it in the sun. So y'all can judge me all you want. Oh, I'm judging. That's the most minor thing to judge me for. I have a lot more things that are embarrassing than that, but... Go ahead, could judge you, away. Could you I name, will be. Could you name a few of those embarrassing things for us? Oh, falling down the stairs and breaking my butt bone. Wow. That's number one. I wasn't going there, but she did. <laughs> That's a true story. Actually, a true story. Probably <laughs> our most glorious day as a couple ever. Yeah. You don't have time to talk about that. Yeah. All right, back to your so, topic. I'm sorry, I derailed us. Splash Mountain. I would definitely wait an hour for oh, that yeah. ride. Yeah. Um, number two. It's worth, is, the, it's worth the wait because of the experience, but because you also get yes. cool if it's usually hot in Florida. Yes. Well, it's thrilling. It's a long ride too. Yep. <laughs> long right. log ride. Like that's hard to say, but. Long, long, log. Mm. See? So it's worth the wait. Like it's not just over in 20 seconds. It's it's worth it. Right. But um, the second ride probably going to surprise you. And I don't know why. I think because this is a ride that we typically wait a long time for anyway. Not typically an hour, but usually like 35 to 50 minutes. Sure. Pirates. Yeah, yeah. I, it's not thrilling, but I part. just really enjoy that ride. I love, I love the music, obviously. It's just relaxing. It is a longer well, ride, too. I wouldn't call it relaxing, but I get what, you know why it's that relaxing. is? Cannonballs firing everywhere. I've been on this ride enough times. I could probably walk you through the whole scene of it anyway. So I'm not concerned about fire or cannonballs, and there's cats in it, so <laughs> I'm obviously gonna love it. And now we know the formula for success. It's got cats in it, you're good. Yeah. So Disney, that's how you fix this for Jessica every single time. Cats. cats in it, just put it in. If it. they could make an Aristocats ride, oh my you freaking gosh. You know there's Aristocrapes, which is a crepe store bait, and it's got the theming of Aristocats and Disney Springs, right? I <laughs> I've know. just changed your world. When are we going? When did I it know. open? I don't, it's been open for a while. Why have you not taken me? What is wrong with you? You don't love me. No, I don't, apparently. <laughs> we are going. Apparently we are And we got to go to that, what is it, Gideon's Bake Shop? Oh, the cookie thing, yeah. Anyway, okay. Well, How do we get on food with this? Because you talked about Aristocats, and apparently there's, there's Aristocrates. But listen. Okay. Back to Pirates. It's a good ride. It's like the Walt Disney quintessential ride, where they put all the time and effort into it with the animatronics yes. story. And, it, and I think... I'll be honest with you, like, when I'm in the line, it sucks. It's, it's one of the worst lines ever. It was But literally. I always get off the ride, and I'm happy. Yep, me too. The queue line is trash. Absolute garbage. Like, they didn't think about it at all. They thought it was going to be like, oh, nobody's going to want to be in this ride. They also need to update it, because it kind of reminds me of the queue line of Frozen in Epcot, okay. where it's just like a big room, but Frozen has like stuff on the walls and things to do in the middle and just all these interactive things. Pirates, nothing. It is just freaking concrete. It's a waste. They could do so much better. So now you're saying it's not worth the wait. No, 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 no. I'm saying the queue line <laughs> sucks. The ride is 100% worth gotcha, an hour wait. Gotcha. But it's just all bring part of, snacks and water. But it's all part of the experience. The queue line is supposed to be part of the experience. And I agree they could do a little bit better with it, but hey, you know. Beggars can't be choosers sometimes. Speaking of queue lines, and I picked this last one because of the queue line. Sure. It was definitely a toss up between two different rides. So I picked it based on the queue line because I don't mind waiting in this queue. I'm suspicious. What are you, what are you gonna figure out? Seven doors. Okay, yeah, yeah. I so see that's it. the ride is pretty short, mm -hmm. which is kind of why I was vacillating between that short and- Short but thrilling. Yes, and Thunder Mountain. Mm. So kind of, because they're kind of one and the same to me, yeah. really. The rides are very similar. I do like that the, you know, the buckets kind of swing back. I really, really like that, but the queue line. So once you get actually into the queue line, like not on, you know, the main street part where you're like in the street. Yeah. But once you're actually in the ride with all the jewels and the interactive water and all of those things, I think it's just, it's fun. The, the line tends to go quicker than Thunder Mountain to me. Yeah. It feels like it's a little more fast-paced. I think you picked good ones. 
And I agree with, I like that you did the, the pirates and the seven dwarves contrast because it's the opposite. Yep. The sea lion's better in one and yep. the ride's actually better in the other one. So I, I agree with that. I know why you're mad. I, I, we're going to talk about, not why I'm mad, but we're just going to talk about it because it's real, just, even though you won't put it in there. Space Mountain <laughs> is... I think always, Space Mountain's on this shirt. Always worth the wait. I don't think no, it is. Not. No, it's not. I think it's always worth the wait. Here's why. Q line experience. It's old, but it fits. Like it's it's just supposed to, it fits what Tomorrowland is right mm, now. I hate that ride you, so much. And it builds on itself because you go into this little starport kind of thing. You go down these steps, and all of a sudden you're in this long tunnel that feels like you're going up into space all of a sudden. Oh, does it? And then you kind of wind through these dark quarters. There's a couple games that you can play sometimes if they haven't taken those away yet. Probably have with COVID and everything like that. But then you come into this grand room and you realize the scope of this ride that they have to have two tracks, two lines to form this. The music and in there is kind of It cool. is, and I will grant you, it is miserable if it is full in there, even if it's just one track, just weaving back and forth, because there's no change in that, but it's just like the anticipation builds to getting on the best ride Freaking at hate that ride. Disney World. I hate that ride, I hate that ride, I hate Space that ride. Space Mountain so, is always worth the wait. So Two hours. I could hear Three. it for people that, Here's my, I don't even know how to speak this because y'all Space Mountain people are really vicious, but here's really the vicious. thing, because y'all always get mad at me that I hate it. Yes. The only reason I hate it is because I feel like I'm gonna be paralyzed or decapitated on that ride Just every single time. If the if I could like sit up and be in a harness or like lay down and be in a harness, I don't know. The way that, you know, I've got a long torso and you do too, that's why I'm confused as to why this works for you. I can't figure out how to like, lock my body into place and not just be like Wah! one more time <laughs> i knew that one more time i gotta i gotta have it please <laughs> you know like i just feel like every time we take a turn my neck goes this way and the ride goes that way and i'm like well there goes that vertebrae you know i just feel like <laughs> it's just a terrible experience i always come off with neck pain it's oh. not thrilling at all because i'm just trying not to die and so then one time kyle was like just squish yourself down in the seat you, yes, so that's how it happened. I squished myself as much as I could, and then I couldn't get out of the ride. And I was like, oh, you've got to come but help But you were me. safe. I wasn't. My neck was still just as painful. The only time I enjoyed this ride was when it was light. All the lights were on for some reason, and I could see the track and, like, pinpoint it. So, kind of like um, Aerosmith, Rock and Roller Coaster. Yeah. You know, on that one, you can't see anything, but your neck is in a harness. You're also doing a double helix loop. Or not helix, but, but a double But I'm saying loop. you're in a neck yeah, harness, so my neck is not like, oh. But you're not looping in, so you don't need that. Yes, you do! Oh, you do not. You do. But anyway, that's why it's not worth the wait for me because I just feel like I'm going to be paralyzed. Again, and that's not a good feeling. Again, my feelings are hurt. That's all our topics for this week. So now we want to know what's on your mind in relation to what we've talked about today. For me, I want to know what you think about the Genie program, I guess is what you'll call it. Fast like pass, it. pay more money to spend system. A little early to make judgments on that, but what do you think? Let me know down in the comments section below. And I want to know what rides at Magic Kingdom are definitely worth an hour wait for you. And if you want to check out more in this series that we have called Disney Through Our Eyes, you can find a link in the description for a playlist with all our episodes we've had thus far. And don't forget, it's also available in podcast form if you'd rather just do it that way. That's it for this edition on I2I. But until we assemble again, may the force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.